Good D, Iggy. There's your ammo. Or whatever it is. There's what you need. There's a granola bar laying down. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, you gotta catch that. Gosh, man. But it winds up incomplete. All right, Charles, here we've spoken about this offense plenty. How great First. they've been all year. Nine and oh now into the back half of the season. Super Bowl favorites without a doubt. I think everyone agrees on that. What, what do you think is the thing that most stands between them and a perfect season? Dude, what is that, Johnny? I think it's their team, how they approach things, how they conduct themselves during the week, practicing, getting ready and then going out and playing. Can't take your foot off the gas pedal at this stage. Doesn't matter if it's a weak team you're playing or not. Look, when I talk with one of the best golfers of all time, he told me he never played against the field. He just played against himself and his own standard. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, my God. The defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And the Vikings are going to have it here just past the 25. Boy, that's the kind of interception that can save a game right there. They're already down two scores. Huge play, slowing down what was going against them. I was thinking the same thing. You get down three scores there at this stage, could be in for a long ball game. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, I forgot. Mitchell told me that right, all the Kingdom Hearts games are on sale right now. All three games, 40 bucks. Oh, hell yeah. They'll set up a throw on the slant. Here's Smith and Jigba. Five yards. Jigba. Now it's third and five. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles. And they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Out right to Smith and Jigba. Call it a gain of six on the play. Third and seven now. That was a nicely run snap route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he will have the Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because... 
This has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them take the it. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Muck that down for a win in the defense. Smith and Jigba with the ground. Four catches now on this drive alone. They can't stop him. It's another first down. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Did you get another one? With the football here to begin the second quarter, as they've got it with a first and ten. Give this to Singletary running right. There he goes, right side. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went 3 and out. They run here with Singletary. Dog, oh, oh my fucking God. Touchdown. Devin Singletary with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Vikings have got it back to within a score. And you can sense a little bit of optimism here. Things have not been going their way. But they get the turnover on the other end, and they turn right around and put a nice drive together. Then they finish it off with a strong run for their first touchdown of the game. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make our score 14-7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. This take it in at the goal line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in. But I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, oh. meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'll be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. Now a second and six. Back to throw. Catch Taylor. Complete a gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. second and five on play action they'll throw 
Still spin forward. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Ooh, good so hit, Troy. Blow his brains all out. Outside of the 15. Let's spotlight Devin Singletary as this offense comes back out. So he'll be looking oh to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown as you see last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had though during that break about okay. They've got to do something to slow down their runner. So is it bringing in more defensive line? But is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally. I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the running game. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. Let's go, Croy. God damn. Heralded college career, he parlayed that into becoming a first round selection, and now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears, and that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an Pop that man there to create the turnover. Now, this offense back out and set to go for their next drive, and they've got it first and goal. She doing playing pick a boo with him? What a place to start. <laughs> They're quite a turn of events. This is first and goal from the three. Peekaboo! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> They'll try to run this one in. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. In motion right, Watkins. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Now, they'd really oh, like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. A gain of seven might change the thought process here as they have some options on fourth and goal. Let's go, Braylon. Damn, this gold gun is strong. Who got ammo? Where y'all at?
confident in his team. He didn't look at it as a gamble at all. He looked at it as belief. Great starting field position. Let's go ahead and deliver, and they do. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. And we'll see if they can bounce back from he's that on last 100 drive. Yards. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly uh -oh. right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Now a second Baker and Mayfield. the backup Mayfield. This one caught. It's the tight What the fuck? What the fuck? Of course. Minnesota. 56 yards. And normally when you think about huge field flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver or that burner on the outside. Not here. That's a tight Thanks, end doing work down the field. Where's the oxygen mask? He's going to need it after that one. A big, big play. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and ten just outside the red zone. I know Barrett could have also. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. And we so now y'all left the compound. In this first half of action. Yeah, we just left Tommy's. We're heading for the Fireflies at the University of Eastern Colorado. Gotta imagine Colorado. the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and He's 18. He's teaching her football right now. From the gun, Mayfield. Yeah, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Down several scores and playing behind the chains is not the way to have success in this one. Right now, if you're the offensive line, your big concern protecting your quarterback even a chance to try and throw something downfield to pick up the needed yardage now on third and long they'll look to throw good rush boys and that is incomplete sometimes it's just not your dead there's another failure right there on third down now the vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try from the left hash, this from 46. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second and three. 
Oh, good fucking catch, Taylor. It's a first down. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Hitting them upgrades. Yup. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And it's caught. It's Taylor. A great effort there as the first half is winding down and the Condors are able to widen their lead here in this first half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Now Joey slide for the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Oh, a good return up past the three. Oh, my. Of course, Still right before going. fucking half. One man to beat, and he will score. Touchdown, Minnesota. Okay, Ricardo. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with, and they say challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. Come on, I want up you. I want up you, baby. Still going past the 30. That's how you do it. No time remaining. No cloth on the field. Yeah, no flags, and it's a kickoff return to end the first half. So how about the game he's having? He had the punt return earlier for a touchdown. Now the kick. Do the piercing. And off 
oftentimes guys who are on punt return the one before or the second category and they're devoted oh, to a return right guy now. who can break oh. big plays and when that See happens how it says requires four in red mm -hmm. i only have three For this one, should I do the spread, the fire rate, or the capacity? For shorty, um, do capacity. They're gonna block that much harder and be that much more skillful, as well as utilizing his talents, and this is what you get. Punt return, kick return, a huge game. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and they open the lead up now to 25. Past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. This taken in right around the goal line. Damn, and some over. good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. For this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. Mm. First down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32. A play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established oh, that lead in the first half. Damn. Damn. I see that. Damn. Right now with the game what? Truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Stop. Wide open receiver complete. And he slips up past the 45. Hell yeah. Being tackled. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's got it across the midfield strike and into Viking territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. look to throw here flush to his right it's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble and now it's third down I'm not quite sure what he thought he saw there but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated and give credit to the defense they were down on the flash when he broke out of there and they forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts and no move to get the offense off the field they'll stay put on fourth and one the play fake he'll look to throw pass taken in by his good tackle Ooh, Taylor. Down, about. but not before getting this inside the 25 
So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down and a yard. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Let's go, Taylor. lead gets even bigger and Charles we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet well forget the deficit right they're, they're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot but how can they get out of here with some dignity can they get a stop or two can they make a play on offense themselves anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one extra point by Sly is up and good and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown Mm -hmm. Not a game, Campbell. Past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you'd never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty Oh, game. come on, Wiggins. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mayfield. Let's go, Barrett. That's going to be intercepted. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has deployed in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. There's the stiff arm. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 54 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They'll roll him out right. Ooh, and that'll be incomplete. Game. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now back to throw. Bro, what do you mean he just fucking missed that? Oh my god. Tells all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Looking to throw.
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's Let's go, Kamara. Touchdown. Kamara, 27 yards. And the Condors have got it on cruise control. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. Sly on for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's polished off through the air with a touchdown to Alvin Kamara. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll be tackled just Tackle, shy baby. of the 25. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock Sorry, runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Right back to Singletary. You know, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Well, now, after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. But hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek and we'll take a break. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. To throw Mayfield. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds. Ooh, get that ass. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrating. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, yes, time to Ellie. earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And we'll see what he can do on the return. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Is Stand forward. You've got to catch that. You have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things. That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. In motion goes the tight end. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's to his Let's right. go, Camara. Oh, so close. Right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They get this out left, so he stopped for no gain. Oh, okay, no way. Bring up a second and goal. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Camara is into the end zone. Touchdown. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Slide for the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A drive there of just four plays. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Mm, there we go, Abram. Inside the 30 at the 27. 
Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. Good so tackle, Wiggins. Kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game. Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Big foul. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. Good D. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. And it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Good pressure. Third down throw incomplete as well. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate. It was just incomplete and not intercepted. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fielded at about the 28. Oh, let's go, Quest. He goes again. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down at the two. So close. He had his sights on the end zone, no doubt, but is brought down after a huge return there. And this offense not able to believe their good fortune, probably. First and goal at the two. Good catch, Taylor. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Condors add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. Well, that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they're trying to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Get God damn, Jigbo. So it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Mayfield. Justin Jefferson. In a way, he got that first. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're come able to on, get bro. the third down conversion. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double cup. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. 
And rush. Incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Let's go, Croy. Jefferson, but this is intercepted. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, this game was already decided. Charles. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, is that the ca uh, capital from the, the movie? Time. You're right about that. Uh, Things no, have been this going is the well science them, building of the university. Oh, uh, right, right. Running for big plays and get another one right there. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh my God, Johnny Wilson. A great effort there. With his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Condors are going to be moving to 10 0 as they add on to this big lead. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead. And now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off. Get it Right, but you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. Joey slide out a kick off after the touchdown. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. That's a rush. That partner because. They got to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Mayfield looks to throw. Flushed out right. Tackle that, man. Let's go. Come on. He's taken down. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Well, it's an old chestnut, but let's face it, offensively, they've got to have some pride here because this has been a worst-case scenario all game for them. Keep putting in the effort. Keep trying to keep your quarterback upright and get through the end of this one as quickly as possible. He's got fucking round. Oh, my God. Why are you diving, bro? God damn it. Point after, right down the middle as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. 
And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. He's got his man in the crossing route. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. They'll look to throw. And he's got his to again. again. It's complete. 16 more on that one and another first down. I'll tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging it in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 67 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. They'll look to throw here on first down. So close to it. On the deep ball. Up huge on the scoreboard, and they're still trying to add to their total. That shot doesn't connect, but I don't think it'll dissuade them from attempting another one. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Fucking block, Stover. Trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. The offense on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and 11. He'll drop to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two-minute warning. To your minute. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Back to throw here. And that fucking sense for us. Again, yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter, and Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And partner, you don't make it this far until the season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams. And that's been true today. Each side helping guide them to this late lead. Now Joey Sly for the point after. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Let's go, Molly. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. Good fucking hit, Johnson. You don't see that in too many play sheets, do you? Now, the Vikings now heading That bathroom a little dark. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some points that can build on moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mayfield to throw it. Bro, can I not fucking pick the ball off, EA? Jesus Christ. Taken down. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. Now Mayfield. And he can't escape. Sack there he goes. That will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. But when this game is done, the credit 
Well, coach, the consistent pressure on the quarterback is a huge cause of this win. Most teams are happy if they get a few of these games per year. You know they're going to watch this tape over and over, try to identify what's working, and keep it going. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now the defense is going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. A first down throw from Mayfield. <laughs> yeah, I do. A good hands there defensively. You got a lot going on, bro. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Alert, 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 alert. Here's Mayfield. The throw left sideline falls incomplete. But what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. King, King, King. Throwing Mayfield. Coop. Oh my fucking God, dog. point right down the middle as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play and he returns this to the 22 and now this offense comes back out onto the field and they just continue to roll right along really this has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four Looks like he'll throw here. And got his man. Good fucking catch, Quez. He'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now a play fake here on first down. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Well, let's face it, not a lot left for them to prove in this game, but they're still throwing the football. I guess, of course, CD, you know, you could always get the backups some work. There's new plays to try out. But some people, let's face it, they just want to run the score up. It's fun. I love the way that you expressed that because you gave plenty of reasons why people like to do things. But ultimately... They just like to keep their foot on the gas, and they just want to tromp on teams. And what I like to see is, if you like to do that, how do you handle it when it comes back against you? On those days where someone can run up on you, do you handle it the way that you expect your opponent to? If so, keep doing your thing. Oh, no help. Okay. Quest, how are you not catching that dog? Oh my god. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everybody. God damn, I see that tank. Man, that game was fucking crazy. 